After watching the royal wedding, which was amazing, it inspired me to do a beautiful set of wedding nails. I'm gonna do it step by step. Wedding nails, let's get started. So I've prepared my nail, but not the ring finger because I don't want it to compete with that ring. So we're gonna do the next finger beside it. So we're gonna build it out. I'm working with light elegance today and I wanna build a nice strong structure. So I'm just gonna form this up. So I'll put these down because I noticed in one of the videos it's hard to see when the little tabs were sticking up. Today I'm working with Light Elegance Extreme. This is a hard gel. I'm gonna use this to build my base out. This is gonna be the first layer. This is strong to build out the base layer. I'm going to go quite pointy to match the other nails, but I do want this quite strong and thin. I do want to paint it a little bit onto the natural nail because I don't want it to rip off. So I'm going to bring this right to the side. Just want to make sure that this is brought up onto the nail enough. This is the complete structure of the nail. So I want to make sure that this is, this is to get like the foundation, right? You want to make sure that this is nice and strong. But I want it to be very flat because I'm going to turn it upside down a little bit because gel is self-leveling and you want it to have a bit of roundness and strength to it. A little bit of an apex. Once I do that, I flip it back up. Then I can stick it into the light for a little bit. You go in for a flash here, then you can go back in. You can do that one more time, bring it out again. And then you can send it back in. And you want to do about a 30 second cure for all of the hard gels and the base gels. Now I'm going to put this away for a minute because I'm going to file this up a little bit. I want to keep my layers very, very thin. This design was inspired when I did the Selena video and she showed me the sandwich technique. Remember that? And so she put it real thin and then she put a color in and then she built it up more, put the color on top. I'm going to do a bunch of different designs in between a few layers. It just kind of gave me this idea, a very delicate look. So I'm going to clean that. Then I'm going to remove the form. And I've got my base on there and I really wanted it nice and see-through. That's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to gently file this up. So I'm going to determine my sides. And I'm going to shape this up a bit right now. Whew. It's a little bit long. <laughs> Let me take it down a little bit. I don't want to do this design and then shave some off because I think this design is really going to warrant having the proper length right from the beginning. That is the ticket for this particular look. So I am going to file the surface as well because I want to make sure I keep that nice and thin. Just filing the cuticles just a little bit. Just a gentle file. Okay. 
Okay, so once I finish filing that, I'm going to take a lint-free cloth. These ones from Light Elegance are actually really good. And I'm going to remove all the dust. I'm going to get right into the cuticles to make sure you get all the dust out of there. Now this looks kind of cloudy or natural, you might say, but this is clear. So once we put the clear on it, you're able to see the clearness of it. Okay, now this is going to be the first layer of design. So what inspired me is this beautiful collection by Light Elegance. It's a buttercream collection of all wedding colors. Look at that. So I'm going to pull them all out. And a couple of colors from the previous collection, the gold and the silver, because a lot of weddings have gold and silver in them. So I thought that would be fitting. Now for this, I'm going to need a dotting tool. I'm also going to want my little rest. Now the dotting tool comes in handy because I'm literally just going to put like circles all over in different colors and then I want to layer them. So let's focus on some silver. Put a few silver circles in there. Oh, that is beautiful. Now the reason why I'm using a dotting tool is so I can get as perfect a circle as I possibly can. One thing I have learned, natural nails are not perfect. So if you have a nail that you're putting down that's a bit clear and that's what the design is demanding, the clear gel, for example, put your design on some of the imperfect spots in your natural nail. And here's one of mine right here. So I'm just going to put a nice big circle right here. Now it says gel, so it'll self-level right there, right? I don't want to do too many silver on this layer, this level, you might say, because I got a lot of colors here to play with. Now I was taking a look at, oh, I do like this color in particular. I was looking at before, this is called At the Altar. This is the only one that's open. I'm going to move that over here. Move these guys out of the way. And I'm going to give it a 30 second nuke. Okay. I'm going to use the one step by Light Elegance to build this up and create the layers for both strength and design. little dots won't move now because we nuked it. So I can give it a good 
good paint on the first layer. And I'm going to build a bit of a layer too. It's already looking very see-through, very pretty. So I'm just going to build just a little here. This is pretty self-leveling stuff, so it's going to work for me. I don't want to make it too high because I want to do a nice layering effect. Okay, so I'm going to hold it upside down for a second. Pretty. Okay, give it another little bit of a nuke. I'll put it in for five and then I'll pull it out. Then I'll put it in again. And we'll do this for 30 seconds. That's why I did it quite thin because this layering effect with the bubbles, I call them bubble circles, sort of overlapping and on top of each other. Now when this comes out, I'm going to sculpt it a little bit. Just to make sure I'm keeping it nice and thin so I can do a few more layers, but I don't want a thick nail, right? I want to stay within that nice thin nail that we're always trying to achieve. Oh, that's really coming. That's really pretty. Okay, now make sure nobody's open here, so I'm just going to cover. Remember, the sides are pretty good. I'm just going to take away any lumps and bumps so I can make sure that I can keep this really, really narrow, really thin. Okay, and I'm going to clean this off again, and I'm going to do another layer. I'll be so bummed if I file through that. <laughs> okay, cute. Let's try a little gold. Hmm, let's take a look at the other colors. It's called With This Ring. That is pretty, but I'm not going to use it because it's got glitter and see-through bits in it, so it won't really stand out. This one's called I Do. Oh, this is pretty. This is one that I have on my pinky, actually. And the veil. It's got a bit of a shimmer to it. And I don't know if we want that either. It might not stand out. And this is called Lady in Lace. It's got a bit of a sparkle, too. And that's actually my index finger. That's pretty. It is pretty. Careman, you getting into the wedding spirit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have to say... This is called At the Altar. It's one of my favorite ones. And I'm going to bring Silver back again because I want to see him in the layers again. Okay, I'm just going to bring this in just to stable my hand. Okay. So I'm just going to sort of put them wherever I think they would look good. So I don't know if I like so many all at once. I think I'm going to take it off and do that whole section again. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and layer some more dots in. Let's turn the light a little. 
give that 30 seconds. Okay, then I'm going to build the last layer of the structure of the entire nail. With this particular stuff called One Step, you can paint it on first, and wherever you paint it is wherever the building layer will settle, which is really cool. Especially when it's a self-leveling gel, because you really want it to know where it's going. And you don't have to care in between either. Okay, so I'm gonna get my building layer. of the nail and it will slowly fall down the sides to build for structure quite nicely. You can just feel it, you can sort of see it just falling. It's really nice. Now there's a little lacking in this spot right here. So I'm just going to add a little bit in here. Then I'm going to look down the whole thing, make sure it's happy looking pretty good. So I'm going to nuke it and I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to do a five second flash cure just to avoid any heat spike. I have very thin nail beds. I just naturally that way. My nail beds have always been that way. I remember even as a kid, they were just kind of sensitive. So you just want to be careful if you're nuking. Just kind of do a little flash cure in between. And then I'm giving it a full 30 second. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just gonna be very particular about my structure and it's not bad. I can see that it's a tiny bit lacking right in the height. If I'm looking down, I can see it's missing a little bit here. So I'm just gonna add that. It's pretty of a design you can make. You just wanna make sure that structure is always in place no matter how beautiful the design is you've always got to have really good structure i'm going to hold that up a bit like that oh i have blue sparkles on my palm from something else it must have come from here sparkles once you use them they're everywhere okay that's looking pretty good actually look ooh whoo it's looking good beauty okay give it a good nuke put my sculpting gel away do a little flash second five second flash cure do it again okay so the final will be a 30 second clean off my brush So I just want to cover these guys so nobody gets any dust in them. I'd hate to ruin them. I really like these. It's a very beautiful wedding collection of colors. Okay, everybody's covered. And then I'm going to remove the sticky Laya one more time. And I'm going to give it a good nice shaping look how clear and see-through that is this is beautiful now it is gel so filing is actually quite easy with gel oh that is pretty I don't have to file much but I'm gonna have to file a little bit sometimes gel looks so pretty right when it's done you just don't want to file it at all but if there's just any little type of bump you don't want any little things, so you just want to give it a good file on the top. You may not have to shape it much, depending on how good you've sculpted it. But just a little shaping is nice. Okay, that's looking really good. Just going to go around the cuticle, make sure it's nice and happy. 
Now, the reason why this needs to be shaped really good before the next step, because the next step is just really the no different than just top coat, right? Next step is just basically finishing off the last part of the design and the top coat. It's a little bit scary when you're filing this. You want to make sure you don't file through any of those circles that you did because that would really <laughs> ruin the look. Okay. Okay, so I've got a finishing file here. Oh, goody, I didn't file anybody away. Okay. So let's just remove any dust. And that's pretty just the way it is. Okay, so, you know, some of my favorite dots really are that pink one. I like the gold and the silver. Okay, so maybe I'll just do one silver. I mean, very selective, just a few dots, not many at all. One silver, I think this favorite pink and this one. Those are my three top favorite colors, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna do like a silver one, maybe right here. Clean off my dot and tool. And I'm going to bring some pink down the end. As you can see, there's not a ton of pink down there, is there? Now, I did think of different sized dots and even smaller dots in between, but I really wanted to keep it really clean and just do it really simple. why it's hard to do on the very end because it's very pointy it's not as much of a bigger flat surface that's why I'm having such difficulty okay here's the point where I know if I keep going I will overdo it so I'm just going to call it a day because I'm going to be mad at myself if I overdo it so that is going to be 30 seconds and we don't have to sculpt it anymore we've already sculpted it we're going to top coat it, and then it's going to be done. Okay, all I have to do is top coat it. Now, we've already sculpted it. It's already sculpted. That was just the last layer of bubbles. So here I'm going to do my top coat with the Super Shiny by Light Elegance, and that should bring all the circles to life. Now it's new, so nobody's going to move around, and it's totally shaped and sculpted. So all we're trying to do now is bring it to life. Now, Selena said, I believe this is what she said, if I remember correctly, she sort of puts a layer on and then she nukes it and then she puts another layer on. That would be great for durability and making sure, I think she said she does that to make sure she gets all the spots. So let's try that. So we'll give it a nuke. Okay, I'm gonna put one more on for good measure. Oh, that is really pretty. It's just come to life. I love it. So cute, okay. I'm going to get some oil on those cuticles, take off the dust, and I think I'm ready for my wedding pictures, cameraman. Wedding pictures? <laughs>
if you can see this on camera, but with a naked eye, you can see the layers as I turn it. You can see the layers in the clear, clear gel. That's what I love about gel, it's so clear. But that's really pretty, very subtle, very delicate and very classy for a wedding. I had fun doing this. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you guys in my next video.